Today I'm going to show you how to make this waterfall spike necklace. This entire project can be done if you know how to open and close the links in a chain. Here's a gold chain. I'm going to hold it with my pliers and then pry it open by applying some pressure with my thumb. I can close it by applying pressure in the opposite direction. And now you know everything you'll need to complete this entire project. First, you'll create the base of the necklace. You'll want to chain anywhere from 15 to 20 inches long, depending on where you want the necklace to rest. You can buy several meters of chain from a craft store for a few dollars, and you'll just shorten it to 15 to 20 inches by opening up a link in the chain. Now you'll need to attach a clasp at the top of the necklace so that you can take the necklace on and off. Here's our clasp. Just open up the link at the top of the chain and slip the clasp on. Now we'll move to the spikes. Each spike is dangling from a small piece of chain. The piece in the center has 10 links. The adjacent pieces have nine links. And as you can see, the chain pieces gradually get shorter and shorter as we move outward. So all I'm doing here is opening up links in the chain to create short pieces of chain that are 10 links, then nine, then eight, and so on and so forth. Then all you have to do is slip on a spike. Once you have all the separate pieces of the necklace, all you have to do is connect them. Here I'm taking the longest chain, opening it up, and attaching it to the center of the necklace. Then I'm just going to skip over one link in the chain to attach the next piece. I don't want the spikes to be bunched too close together and that's why I skip one link to attach the next piece. And that's all there is to it. This entire process took about half an hour and cost less than $10. This video is a collaboration with my friend Daisy. She makes beauty and fashion videos here on YouTube and if you want to see how she styles this necklace, head over to her channel. I also wanted to mention a giveaway that I'm a part of. If you want to win a $200 gift card to either Sephora or Amazon, be sure to check out all of the rules listed beneath this video. The giveaway is being sponsored by Perfect Beauty, so to get involved, all you have to do is post one review of any product over on Perfect Beauty. And that's it! You can get one entry by being subscribed to me and additional entries for checking out the other girls involved in this giveaway.